Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to share with you some video footage that I filmed while I was preparing for a live stream on the Karen Markers Instagram account. A little bit ago they invited me to take over their Instagram account and share with all of their followers a project, something that I created with their markers. And I was so honored to be asked to do that. And so um, I sat down the day before the live stream and I wanted to just play with the markers, try some different techniques and see what happened. And thankfully I turned on my camera and filmed it because I loved it so much. I wanted to turn it into a card. So that's what today's video is. Um, I'm going to be creating a watercolor piece with different layers of color, um, applying the markers in different ways. And I'm starting out by just applying uh, some of the paint with a wet on wet technique, meaning that I wet the paper first and then I'm bringing in that wet watercolor. I did that by scribbling the markers on a slick surface. I'm using a palette from Art Impressions, but you could use anything that's nice and slick, even a dinner plate. Picked that up with my uh, wet paintbrush and then painted directly onto my project. And now I'm doing some direct to paper where I'm using the markers and applying that color directly onto the, the project and then spreading it out with a brush. And when you do it this way, you get more concentrated color. And depending on how much color you apply, it might even kind of soak into the paper and you get these splotches of dark color, which if you're going for a very... Uh, smooth blended look. You probably don't want spots like this, but I really wanted to play with the idea of letting these just go ahead and stay. Let them hang out on my project. These dark splotches of color. It was done on purpose. It was not because the markers don't blend out because they definitely can blend out. Um, I wanted to see what would happen if I had these darker little segments of color. So I'm drying everything and now I'm adding a bunch of um, more dry brush technique. I'm getting things wet and then coming in with a dryer brush and just sweeping up and getting those streaks of color going into the center area. Um, it's kind of a fun technique. I haven't done it in a while. I thought it'd be fun to do some layering and sort of an abstract background. I really didn't have any idea what I was going to be doing with this when I was painting. I just thought these are pretty colors. They'll look nice together. And I really love how it turned out. At this point, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to dry this and I'm going to take it off the board. This has to become a card. And I love this background so much that I don't want to cover it up. So along those same lines, I don't want to cut this background apart. So I'm going to use my A7 layers dies from Waffle Flower and cut this out and try to preserve as much of the center of that watercolor painting as possible. It worked out great. I preserved as much as I could. And now I'm going to be using the I Am With You stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. Um, I wanted to have a really simple greeting right in the center and just nice and black and solid and let it really let the background colors sing. I'm using my mini uh, Stampin' Bug glider to get a really good impression. I did stamp that twice, so it was a nice and black. And then I decided it needed just a little something, and I could have searched for a small mini stamp to use, but I thought, you know, it'd be just as easy to draw a little heart on here. So I drew a heart with a black marker and filled that in. And I'm gonna start assembling my card I've created a card base out of some Nina Cross Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock. And um, it's a five by seven card base. And then I applied this foam adhesive from Alta New on the back of my watercolor panel. I'm, if any of you missed my live from last week, um, I'm starting to use this foam tape. Um, I, I like how sticky it is. I, I like how it works. I just wish it would tear with my hands instead of having to have scissors to cut it. It's my only dream, it's my only wish. <laughs> so but other than that, I really do love this adhesive and it seems to hold up extremely well. 
So like I mentioned, um, this was actually a, a card that kind of resulted from practicing for a live stream. This is the envelope that I made on the live stream over at the Karen Markers Instagram account. Um, I'm just going to give you a peek into a little bit of that live stream, which is why we'll have black bars on the sides here because it was uh, portrait mode, but or you know portrait orientation. It was up and down. But basically, I did the same exact thing that I did on my card. I did the, the layer of the wet on wet soft colors, and then I started to come in and spread out some more concentrated areas of color. And because this was for an envelope, I didn't want to have the painting extend too far over to the right. I kept it mostly to the left-hand side, and it resulted in a really fun, layered, and colorful um, kind of decoration or um, look on this envelope. So here is the finished envelope once again. Um, if you want to check out that entire live stream, I'll have a link down below in the video description or at my blog, and you can click over and watch that live stream at the Karen Markers Instagram account. It was a really fun time. Hope you guys will check that out. And thank you so much for watching today's video. I love sharing um, just kind of these fun explorations with all of you guys. I hope it gives you um, a little bit of, you know, almost like permission to try things out and test things out yourself. Um, just have some fun with some paint or ink. Just do whatever your heart is leading you to do and have fun with it. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll be back very soon with more card making. In fact, I'll be back on Friday with my usual Friday live at 12 noon mountain time. Mm -hmm.